Now, let's talk about a different type of hernias. Well, we said hernia is a weakness or defect in the muscle. So this muscle can be anywhere in the anterior abdominal wall, in the pelvic floor, the muscle of the back, or even the diaphragm, which is the muscle that separates your chest cavity from your abdominal cavity. Now, most of the conversations that we have today is about abdominal wall hernia. So abdominal wall hernia, you can see on this uh, uh, picture, on this uh, uh, top two, uh, we separate them to groin hernia and abdominal wall hernia. So when we talk about groin hernia, we have to identify the inguinal ligament. So the inguinal ligament is the a fibrous band or a ligament that connects the bone of your hip area anteriorly to the bone of your pubis area right in the center um, in the front of the abdomen and um, the hernia or defect of the muscle that um, located above that uh, inguinal ligament is called inguinal hernia. Now there are hernias that are located below that uh, ligament is called femoral hernia. So both both of those hernias are in the groin region. Now we also have abdominal wall hernia. So we can have some of the hernias that happens congenitally or happens with a workout uh, or even a sport type of hernia that you rip the muscles in the front of the abdomen um, and uh, including the hernia around the belly button which is called umbilical hernia. We call those ventral hernia or abdominal wall hernia. You can have also hernia after any type of surgery. When we cut through the abdominal wall to get into the abdomen to perform a type of surgery, that incision that we created cannot heal completely in um, around 10% of the time and then that creates a weakness of the abdominal wall or a defect later and that's called incisional hernia which is another type of abdominal wall hernia. We also have very rare type of hernia it's called esthetelian hernia which is a type of hernia that happens between the layer of the muscles mostly in the left or right lower abdomen. Now, there are very rare hernias in the back as well, which is called lumbar hernia. We also have a pelvic floor hernia, which is the muscles that separates the uh, pelvic cavity um, from the abdominal wall cavity. And that um, type of um, hernia is a very common the older uh, female after having multiple pregnancies and uh, weight loss. Uh, those defects in the uh, pelvic area create pelvic um, wall um, hernia. Now we also have diaphragmatic hernia which is very common around the uh, esophagus uh, area that the esophagus penetrates from the chest into the abdominal cavity. Sometimes you get a, a weakness of the muscles around that area and that has the potential of the intra-abdominal structures to protrude through that internally and that's called hyaluron hernia. But for, for purpose of this um, talk, we just focus on the groin hernia, which is inguinal and femoral hernia, as well as abdominal wall hernia, which is ventral hernia or incisional hernia.